What is up guys, Johnny here, back with more Call of Duty Mobile news. Today we talk zombies, prestige system, and controller support. Three hot topics this week, a lot of questions on the live stream and on the YouTube comments, and we have a lot of answers. So before we start, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel for more Call of Duty Mobile videos. Let's start. All the information we have today comes from an interview with Activision VP of Mobile, Chris Blummer. It was published only two days ago on Hypebeast.com. I will link it in the description if you guys want to read the whole interview because there's more information. Today we only covered three topics, but there's more than that. But let's start with controller support because there's so many questions about it. Now it was asked about controls and they talk about controllers of course. His answer was, in terms of peripherals, we are looking at the possibility and have already been testing control support with a portion of our live audience. It is very important to us that we maintain fair balance across the game. Seriously, if you guys don't know already, there was controller support in the game about a week before global launch and it didn't last long. They removed it on the global release. And definitely they wanted probably to test it and see how players responded. But there's a question of balance. And if you read the comments on the social medias, there's a lot of negative comments about people using controllers on mobile games. A lot of people think that there is an advantage. So the controller users would have an advantage over mobile players. It is the role of the company to balance controller support and make sure it is not an advantage. I played other mobile games and in some of these games, controller is not and not at all an advantage. You have much better aim on the touch screen, but once again, it depends on the company and how they will balance it. Now, before we change topic, I want you guys to focus on the first sentence. We are looking at the possibility. So we are not 100% guaranteed that controller support will come back, but most likely it will. It's just they're not ready. They want to make sure they don't mess up the whole game for the player base. Now, next topic is the prestige system. As you guys know, in most games, you can prestige after you reach the max level and restart at zero and re-unlock everything. Now, will we have the prestige system in Call of Duty Mobile? The question was asked and we have an answer. The progression system in Call of Duty Mobile works a bit differently from other Call of Duty games. You still level up individual weapons to unlock new attachment slots and mods but your player level always advances and is never reset. We think this works better for the play styles to game on the go and you want players to always feel like they are advancing as they play. So that's pretty clear guys. It seems that we will never have a prestige system. Of course they may change their mind later but in most mobile games we have a cap and like some guys will cap really fast and some guys are slower but once you reach the max level, it will stay for a long time. And then maybe in three months, they will decide to just raise the cap instead of getting a, a prestige system. So let's say right now it's 150. Maybe in five months or something, they might go and say, okay, now the max will be 250. And now you have new things to unlock, new weapons and stuff. So it just gives players a reason to play again if they stop. And uh, it feels like you just never end. Most mobile games... It's never going to be over. They will always raise the cap and add new weapons and add new skins. It just never ends. Now, last topic is zombies because yes, we are waiting for the zombie mode to arrive on COD Mobile. What is going on? Why is it not there? It was initially planned to be released on global launch, but I think it was reworked because there was some zombies in the old beta this summer. Apparently they wanted to rework the game mode because it was not so cool for the fans. They didn't like the way they approached and they wanted more maybe old school zombies. So here's what Chris Blummer said in the interview about zombie. It was asked, will we have zombie mode in COD Mobile? Will we have PVE? He says, right now our focus is delivering a really awesome multiplayer experience to our fans at launch. With robust MP modes and battle royale, but we are always very committed to delivering new content post-launch, so stay tuned for further announcement. We may have some more surprises up our sleeve. Now, what does that mean, guys? I don't know, but I just got a feeling that zombie mode is not going to happen really soon. I mean, we thought it was going to be on launch, but then it was not there. 
And then we kind of think it should be really, really soon. And maybe it's just maybe being balanced and reworked a little bit. But with that answer, they say right now their priority is multiplayer. It means they're not done. They want to keep working on it a little bit. And I think we might have to wait for an announcement. I don't think we're going to wake up one day next week and boom, we'll have an update. So I don't know, guys, but I could be wrong. Of course, I could be wrong. But I just got a feeling that it's not right around the corner. I know a lot of guys are super hyped, but I mean, I cannot wait for zombies mode. I'm a super hardcore zombie player. I always love the mode and I cannot wait to have it on mobile. But I guess we'll have to wait a little bit more, guys. So that will be it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit the like. And once again, please subscribe to the channel for more Call of Duty Mobile videos. I'll be back soon. Till then, watch my other videos. Take care. The last revived flight will arrive in one minute. Only Reloading. Oh, 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 oh,